Hey guys, Justin here from Canadian Outdoor Enthusiast. Today we're going to show you how to process bear fat, or also known as bear grease. You might be wondering why. Actually, bear fat is actually used for a lot of useful things. Uh, especially back in the old days, we used to use bear fat for a lot of things like baiting, uh, for maintaining your, your metal tools such as firearms, knives. Um, it's also used for candles used also for making pine pitch. Uh, it's used for a lot of things actually. So we're gonna show you the benefits of that and how to process it from scratch. We got about 15 pounds of bear fat here. Uh, we're not gonna process the whole thing obviously in one batch. So we're gonna maybe do about four pounds at a time, you know, and then we'll show you how to get that from raw to the finished product. Okay, so stay tuned. Hey guys. Justin here again. We're gonna talk about processing this bear fat. Now, this is what you're looking at is about 10 pounds of bear fat, raw. Hasn't even been processed yet. There's still chunks of meat left on there. So, what we're gonna do first, obviously we'll take it out. We're gonna start chopping it into uh, small pieces. Finer the better, because it cooks a lot better that way and it just speeds up the process. So, um, we're gonna chop that off, put that in a big skillet or a big pot pan. Uh, try to get out a pot from your wife because she's probably gonna kill you. Uh, you might wanna buy at a dollar store, maybe one big saucepan or something there. Um, so yeah, once you get that, just start cooking it like bacon. Stay tuned, I'll show you what it looks like. Hey guys, Justin here again. Here's the bear fat that's cooking right now. We've chopped this off in some pieces, actually pretty big pieces. I was in a hurry. You always want to take your time and chop this off in smaller pieces because it does take a little, a little bit less time to, to cook. So, But this is it. You cook it like bacon, pretty much. Just take all your bare fat, chop it off, put it in the pan, start heating it up, and then cook it like bacon. Oh, you'll see that it'll start oiling up a lot. of oil in there already. Of course, there's water as well. But once it's all done cooking, what you want to do is drain it, okay? Take all the impurities out, all the chunks out, everything, drain that, strain it. Strain it nicely. Once it's strained, put it in a container and leave that container to chill. Okay, so what happens is that you'll, on the bottom, you'll have your water in the bottom and the fat will float on the top. So you just take that chunk of fat, remelt it again. You can refilter it again if you need to, but that's your end product. And I'll show you what it looks like. Hey guys, okay, here's the end result to the bare fat. Uh, the end result to the cooking process, that is. Um, as you can see, it really died down. Chunks are actually smaller now, good size uh, gristles. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the big chunks. Just gonna take this out, and then we're gonna strain it. Okay, so stay tuned. Hey guys, Justin here. Okay, we're uh, done cooking the bear fat. Everything's pretty much done. I removed all the bigger pieces that are left, the big gristle pieces. Probably give those as a treat to the dogs. They're all here munching some uh, deer legs right now. All right, so bear grease, we're gonna filter it out. Just uh, take out all the small impurities, okay? So it's still a bit hot. I recommend waiting a bit until this cools down, but for the sake of demonstration, we're gonna go ahead and do it right now. This, we got a bowl right here uh, with a strainer, as you can see, small little strainer inside the bowl, and some cheesecloth on top, just to do a finer refinement filtration. Now, we'll just pour this in there. My apologies for the uh, shaky camera, I'm trying to do two things at the same time. Let's go ahead and pour all that in. Okay. Filter it out. Okay. Now, as you can see, 
you got some good clean oil in there. Now this is not a hundred percent oil, mind you. There's there is some water in there. To get a hundred percent oil, there will be one last step we'll have to do. Okay. You wait until this cools down, this bowl right here. Room temperature, you want it. You don't want to stick it in the fridge or in the freezer because it'll probably uh, happen too quick. I mean, freeze up too quick. So what you want to do is room temperature. And you'll see a separation of the oil and the water happening later on after a few hours. Once that's done, then you can put it in the fridge or the freezer whatsoever and remove just the fat. After that point, you'll still have maybe a little bit of contaminants inside the fat. You can I, I'd recommend boiling it down to liquid state again and further filtering it again with some cheesecloth just to get the final step. And then you're pretty much done. You got your bear grease. So uh, stay tuned. We'll let you know soon once it's all done. I'll uh, show you some final product at the end.